being a man in in today's society is very very difficult and i say that for many reasons however i kind of struggle to make this video because it might not be as hard as we seem but in my head it's still really difficult that might not make much sense but hopefully i can make it make more sense <laughs> but let's 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 discuss it y'all before we hop into it i'd like you guys i would like to remind you guys to go ahead and follow me on my socials links give me in the description down below i also stream on twitch and youtube um and the links also below um i'll probably have something up on screen here for you guys to see but with all further ado let's just, let's just hop into this this discussion this this thing that i really want to talk about this thing that i've been battling in my mind for the last what seven months maybe more when i was young and growing up as a caribbean black guy you know we we always had social pressures we always had a lot of different things a lot of a lot of stuff and one of the lines that most of us have probably been told is be a man and over the years as i've gone through my teenage years and now in my young adult stage what does be a man really means what does masculinity really means i find i found myself questioning these different topics and these different ideas and you know that led me to go ahead and do some research to look at other guys and look at older men to see if there was an example of what that should be of course i have my the men in my life the my father my uncles my grand well i never met my grandfathers they both died before i was born but my teachers the guys that trained me when i was in the cadet corps which is for the americans would be like um was it grtc or whatever you call it basically like they're conditioning you to be in the army um basically it's like that there were all of these guys who had some impact on my life there were all these guys who had some sort of influence and i sat there and i thought about exactly what be a man is supposed to mean based on these examples and i'm not gonna lie to you there were some good and there were some bad and it's up to men nowadays to really sift through all of that information and take what is good and leave out the bad. Now, as men nowadays, we don't have to physically provide. And what I mean by that is that we don't have to go out and hunt. We don't have to go out and um, gather food. We don't have to go out and work while the woman stays at home. More than half of the time, ladies are the ones that are going out there and making a lot of money. And there's not as many men making a lot of money as there are females now. That's just the reality of the world we live in now. Women are on the rise. But I don't want men to lose the focus and lose the drive of going out there and providing. Like you still have to provide and, and at least provide for yourself. And that's one thing that I picked up from these guys that are in my life. You have to provide and at, at the very least provide for yourself. So that is why when I start this channel and why when I speak to you guys, I say you got to take care of yourself. And there are a lot of things that we may seem that is not as masculine. For example, a man going for a manicure or pedicure. A lot of people think that this is not a masculine thing to do. I disagree. I think it's a very masculine thing to do because you're taking care of yourself as a man. The guys back then, they went to hot spots. They went to different things to make sure that they were in prime fighting condition. There's guys back then used to train and train and train and train to make sure that they were the best. They weren't, a lot of them weren't slow jays always on a, on a, on, on in bed or whatever, waiting for stuff to come for them. They would have to go out there and that was for survival. We, on the other hand, we don't have to hunt for survival. Instead, we have to go and look for a job, which is considerably easier. However, I do believe that it is mentally harder to do that because you have so many distractions. You have so many different things going on 
that it makes it hard to focus on goal and the job at hand. So I think that men of today have to be a lot more mentally powerful, a lot more mentally dominant than rather than physical dominance, because you can see a guy over here just working hard. He will get somewhere whenever you got a guy who is mentally, emotionally smart. But a guy who is just big, he isn't going to get that far because just because of his size, people are going to take advantage of him. And especially, I'm sorry to say this, but especially women, they're going to take advantage of that and he's going to get used. In today's world, I say it is hard for men or it's hard to be a man because you have so many different pressures. And we're going to I'm going to talk a little bit about some of those pressures, like highlight the pressures and the thing is, this is by no means me complaining about anything. This is me highlighting what we have so that we can better prepare ourselves for the battle of ahead. We as men need to understand that we can't change some of this stuff now. There's no way we can change it. But what we can do is that we can identify what we need to go and get and then go and get it. And that's kind of what, what I want to drive here. This is what I want to do. I want to highlight all of the pressures that we have as men nowadays and so that we can be better prepared to go forward. The first thing would be our social pressures, the stuff that society says that we are supposed to be, which are not necessarily true. Society states that men are not supposed to show emotion and that, at least that's the traditional way of thinking about it. I have a different thought about that. Men are to be emotional men. However, Men are supposed to be able to control their emotions and use those emotions to carry them any further. For me, I have used my sadness and my anger to get better at cadet. When I first joined cadets, I didn't know anything. I was horrible. But me constantly being told that you're never going to amount to nothing. You're never going to do this. You're never going to do that. That motivated me to get so much better. And by the time I left, I was one of the most well-known, knowledgeable persons around. And that's not just from, you know, doing stuff physically. I had to sit down, put my head together, mentally say, I'm going to go and get this and do it. There's nothing more attractive than a man who goes after his goals and his dreams. And that's sorry, but you're not going to just get ladies with muscles anymore. You got to you got to do what you got to do. You can't just do things. And if your goal is for the ladies, you're not going to just do it by looking good. That helps. Yeah. But when you first get her and then what's going to happen when she realizes what kind of man you are, what kind of person person you are, she's not going to want to stick around. She's going to go and give you up for another man who might not look as good, but might be way smarter and more emotionally stable than you. And. That's just one example. Same thing with businesses and companies. If you, they don't see that you're hungry and that you want to, to succeed and go further and further in their company, they're not going to get behind you. They're not going to invest in you. And this is in my head. This is all kind of business. This is all kind of, you know, looking out for the future. Companies are looking out for the future. Women are looking out for the future. They're looking for somebody to spend the rest of their life with. They're looking for that strong emotional support that they have there. A lot of people do not understand the basis of being a caring partner, a basis of being a caring person. That goes for both men and women. For women, some men just want you to care about us. That's that's all. You don't even have to just have sex or you don't have to just bring certain things. You just all we want for the most part, at least for me and some of the guys that I've known, all we want is for you to care about us. And it's literally that simple. We just need you to care from and, and we need somebody that we can come home and talk to and be vulnerable with. And guys, it's okay to be vulnerable. That's another thing in society that that they that they don't want you to be. They don't want you to be vulnerable. By the end of the day, being vulnerable is good. The the 
part that about it that is bad is if you're be, being vulnerable with any and every person. You can't be vulnerable with any and every person because that's going to go turn against you. That brings me back to the point of emotional and mental stability. Guys, you got to take care of your mental health at this point. We have so many different things. Some people looking at us, a man makes a mistake. We remember it, that he will be remembered about that and regarded about that for the rest of his life. That probably will never shake him. And I'm not saying that women don't have pressures too. Of course, we all have struggles, but I'm just saying that the amount of emotional pressure on a man nowadays is a lot higher than it was before and men are not ready for it. I mean, I have so much more to say on this topic and so much things to, to talk about in terms of men and masculinity and different things like guys we really gotta work on ourselves we really gotta focus on our legacy focus on building an entire empire being kings we have to really understand that being king is 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 it's not necessarily based on your riches and all of your 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 um wealth or whatever your resources it's more or less about the pride and the confidence and the self the high self-esteem you got to believe in yourself before somebody else can believe in you you got to do what you got to do and that's another thing that a lot of people don't think a lot of people see your struggle and see your hustle and say that that's never gonna gonna come forward a lot of people have told me that this youtube channel is never gonna take off but here i am and I know I've been doing this for about a year and some. Here I am in August of 2021 with a channel of over 200 and something K total views and a lot of a lot of videos, a lot of different things. I've I have so much talent and so much things to give. These people that told me that never would have thought that I could pull this off. And it's only 130 some well 1300 somebody k uh yeah 1300 somebody persons that are subscribed to my channel but i have videos that have popped off i have videos that have gone gone places and that's because i decided i'm gonna take control of my life and i'm gonna take the bull by its horns and i'm going to ride this and i'm going to steer this ship in the right direction I'm going to do what i need to do and that took a lot of mental strength for me as you guys can see, I'm not the biggest guy, but I am a pretty smart guy. And I'm a guy who is is getting in tune with his emotions. I'm a guy who's getting in tune with my own spirituality and my own mentality. And your mind is the first thing we got to work out. It's not just your body because you can try to pump all your body or whatever all the time. But if your mind isn't there, you aren't going to go anywhere. You aren't going to go anywhere. And that to me is the most masculine trait you can have. Having a very competitive and a, well, not necessarily competitive, but a very focused mindset and having a very in-depth mind to go out there and navigate this, this hard world that we have to live in and, and really having to watch all of these things. On this side, you have a gold digger. On this side, you have a hater. On in front of you, you have obstacles, people trying to stop you from doing certain stuff behind you. You have all of your burdens, all your feelings, all your disappointments, all your sadness, depression, anxiety. You have all of these things that are weighing you down. And as a man, you have to in your head, you have to say, I'm going to get through this. You have your back pat on your back and you're rocking through this, this valley, this shadow, this death, this everything that you that you have and things are going to hit you. You're going to have an arrow pierce here and arrow pierce here. But you as a man, you have to say in your head, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get through that. And for me, I think that that's one of the most masculine things that a man could do. With everything kicking him down, with everything keeping him down, he continues to go and go and go. And I'm not saying that there are some things that won't be worth it. I'm not saying that there are not some things that you're going to have to redirect and go a different path but stay on your goal stay on where you want to be 
and you'll get there this video is a little bit all over the place i bro i was just so lost in my thoughts that i i couldn't even write anything down and make points or whatever i kind of just rattled it off my head but let me know if you guys like this video uh drop a like comment subscribe turn on bell notifications so you know how i post and um i'm gonna try to keep doing some of these videos every week next week i'm gonna give you guys a topic all right there's gonna be a poll on my channel when i figure out on what what video i want to do next week um one of it might be sexual education more or less on um, pornography and um and masturbation a lot of guys on this channel right now are younger guys and i need you guys to understand the dangers and the good things about um watching porn and masturbating it's not necessarily a very socially accepted thing it's beginning to be socially accepted but it's not really socially as accepted thing it can also go against you guys so i need to let you guys know like what what is the bad things about it and what are the good things about it and i wouldn't say necessarily they're very good things um i think you can do without them but it definitely brings you a uh, uh, a lot of bad and i kind of want to give you guys my experience on the bad you understand so if you guys you guys can stay tuned for that i'll see you guys next have a great day remember to join my stream there's gonna be a link down in the description down below i stream every weekend on twitch and sometimes on youtube so see you guys then have a great day have a great week remember go after all your goals and your dreams you guys can do it peace